guys welcome back to my channel when tay talk i am tay and i am here just with another little word from our mail um about the show tonight and also about um she said if it ain't about the money okay it fuck out her face all right, let's do that. Everything on the channel here is alleged, and in my opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Okay, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and please, please, please click the bell notification so you know every time your girl upload a new um, episode, okay? Not episode, but you know, video. <laughs> Y'all got ahead of myself, okay? Think I'm Hollywood. Um... Also, share the video with family, friends, enemies, frenemies, whoever watched the show or don't watch the show. They might start watching the show because they just love when Tay talk. Okay? Um, what else? Y'all Cookie done started coming down to my little beat laboratory, so she right here. Okay? All up in my business. Trying to be all up in my video. All right? I've been, she been on just about the last couple videos because... Every time she hear me start recording, she want to come tap dancing her legs down these stairs. Okay? Can't get nothing done with Cookie, okay? Cookie says she want her shine, and that will be that. Okay, but Cookie need to wait until she get groomed. But y'all call them old Peter over here on me. Try to take my little polar cookie. Y'all know I can't be doing no grooming no dogs. And I don't want to try to do it myself and yamp her ass up. <laughs> She be around here looking like she got alopecia and care, you know. I don't want to do it. And no offense to anybody that got alopecia because I got a little spot right here. Okay. Up under here. I ain't going to lift it up on you. All right, let's go. So we're going to watch Mel's video. And at the end of the video, I got a couple words for y'all. Okay. Just a couple words for y'all. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. You can me ask like questions. Don't be afraid to have those conversations. We've all been in situations where, um, you know, it was like, uh, uh, should I say something? Should I ask that? Uh, I don't want to turn anybody off. I don't want to make them feel some kind of way. No, ask your questions that matter to you. Okay? Ask your questions that matter. So, <laughs> what do you want to say? Child, Justice, ain't nobody about to play with you. What do you want, Justice? So, how do you overcome that fear of, like, not talking numbers like because i feel like for me i definitely be like in that situation mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. because i fear like the rejection Mm. Like mm, come on, girl. Let me tell you something. This is how I feel about that. Now, Justice asked the question, but I'm going to go ahead and preach to everybody. Okay? Let me go. Somebody said, come on, Mel, through with the edges. Yes, honey. I have edges, baby. Even in the braids, y'all can see them edges. Hey, well, listen to this right here. I'm sorry. This not. No. See? Y'all leave me alone. I'm trying to be on point. God dang. So, to Justice's question, wait, you said that you'd be afraid to ask the question for it because you might get rejected. Right. Let me tell you, see, that goes back to what I was saying a minute ago, okay? If you're rejected, that just means that wasn't a gig for you. That just means that wasn't the contract for you. If you're talking about a contract, you know what I'm saying? It's okay to be on some like, well, thank you for considering me. Unfortunately, you know, it's not going to work this time, maybe next year. Maybe. It's okay to say that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would tell anybody, though, before you, before you um negotiate yourself into a place where you're not gonna be happy about it just decline just decline and it's okay and y'all missed some of that tonight because y'all know we we only got a few minutes for each episode but i did say that um you know a few times like even when it was like oh, okay we're not gonna be it's okay it's no big deal like <laughs> there are business deals that don't work out with me all the time there are business deals that don't work out for me all the time where the budget ain't there and that's okay. And then there are deals that work out very well and the budget's there and that's what it is. So you just have to just get in a, get in a place and get to a point where you don't allow your fear of rejection to cause you to miss out on your dollars. Because guess what? You doing something in a price that don't work for you could cause you to miss out on the gig that's waiting on you that will pay you what you want to be paid. Mm -hmm. But you over here holding on to this little money when God trying to bless you with the big money. So let me tell you something. Okay, so look, I'm not going to get started. I'm not going to start preaching tonight, honey. You in the clap? We're going to take up an offering. Go on and, um, I, you know what? I don't ever even encourage this. Go on and buy them badges because y'all know I'm preaching tonight. Um, However you buy a badge on. 
on Instagram. <laughs> However you... Nah, you talking real good, for real. No, but it's the truth. It is the truth because people will only um, go as far as you allow them to go. And again, y'all, let me say this again. I am not just talking about this show. Now, I, I already didn't say what I had to say about the show. Now I'm talking real life, y'all. So don't nobody come out here and make this that I was throwing shade to nobody because I'm not. I'm past. I've said what I had to say about the show. Now I'm talking real life, pouring into you, okay? Um, <laughs> show of justice. No, but for real, <laughs> pouring into you, okay? So here's what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, Whatever it is that you feel like you deserve to receive for anything you're doing. I don't care if it's hair, nails, wardrobe, makeup. I don't care what it is. Whatever it is that you do. If the people don't want to pay what it is you asking them to pay, you ain't got to do it. Say, Because oh, there's somebody for everybody. And the show will go on. And I made that point clear too. Y'all didn't get to see it. But I was like, hey, it's still going to happen. It's still going to be great. Like, it's no, it's never... I turn down gigs so much, probably, which is why it's never hard. Feel, it's no hard feelings for me. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, okay, sure. Didn't work out. Okay, no big deal. Like, there's something else coming always. There's always. I've booked four or five more gigs since then. Like, that had the budget. Like, it's. <laughs> but my point is, you cannot. People will go as far as you allow them to go when it comes to appreciating or recognizing your worth. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't going to stand up for you, who going to stand up for you? Yeah. If you ain't going to stand up for you, who going to stand up for you? Okay? Nobody. So guess what you got to do? You got to go on ahead and let them know what it is, whatever it is you do for a living. Like I said, you, you could be a person out here who styles, nails, hair. It doesn't matter. All kinds of things. I know that you may have fees that you charge. If somebody don't want to pay what it is, it's somebody for them. It's going to be somebody else who can do their hair for $20 instead of the $75 you charge. That's okay. I promise you, you ain't going to miss out on nothing because everything that's for you is for you. Everything that's for you is for you. Don't low by yourself. Know you're worth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that good stuff. You better say that. Come on, preacher. Now, y'all going to buy them badges or something. Uh, <laughs> you got any more questions, Justice? Justice is a creative. So, I can imagine... Like, you know, she's a creative. She's making flyers and graphics and content and, you know, doing all that good stuff. So I can imagine at times you may find yourself feeling um, like, hmm. Do Let I me tell you something else I've run into. Okay, what does so, she want okay, to? okay, say for instance, somebody's just like, uh, say, okay, say for instance, you really want this client. Okay. And they're just like, okay, um, well, what do you want me to pay you for that, right? Okay. And so I've been in a situation to where I'm just like, like, oh, okay, I hope they get me because I want to work for them so bad. I tell them a number and they say, yeah, like real fast. When I knew I should have went up more because mm. of how fast they said, yeah. Mm. Okay, so, so let me say this. So here's what I say. That's a very good question. Did y'all hear justice? Let me make sure they heard you. Oh, they buy badges too. Y'all so <laughs> Yeah, they buy badges. Okay, then. So that's the collection. That's the collection play. Okay, then. Okay, then. Look at them buying them badges. <laughs> All right. So listen, did y'all hear Justice's question? Because um, I'm going to answer it. And if I need to repeat it, I'll repeat it. They say yes. They heard your question. Okay, perfect. So here's my thing, Justice. And this is how I was even whenever I was, you know, doing construction full time for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Um, I always felt like this. I always wanted to give my potential clients, and I teach my HPA students this, by the way. So if you're my if you're my master class, yay! If you have not signed up yet, you need to. Um, but I always say this: whatever bid proposal in your case, contract proposal that you are giving a potential client. As long as you make sure that that amount is an amount where at the end of the day, you're going to smile and be happy about it. You're going to feel good about it. You're going to feel like ain't nobody taking um, advantage of you. Ain't nobody getting over on you. And at the same time, you know you ain't getting over on nobody. That's what the price should be. That's the good price. That is the way you work that. You work it in a way where, okay, this is what I'm submitting 
this is fair to me. I'm making me some money, but it ain't like I'm charging them $5,000 for something that I know only cost a hundred, right? Because that ain't cool either. You know what I'm saying? Like I never, ever wanted to get over on my clients where I was giving them these astronomical numbers that just didn't even make sense even because I even if I knew that they may barely look at it and sign off on it no I'm not about to do that I believe in being fair and just in everything that you do in business right so as long as you feel good about the price that you're giving them where you you know you're gonna smile when you get that check every two weeks or every month whatever or at the end of that particular job and you also know that they ain't finna feel like dang she getting over on me now she know this price where they're like, where they're not like, it's twenty percent. Where they're not like, and she knows she's getting over on me. She knows this price is way too high. How dare she? Now I know this is five times what it really should be. You know what I'm saying? So you find a price point where you feel good and where you also know that you're being fair to your potential okay. client. Yep. You can't worry about how fast they sign off on something because you can't be worried about that. <laughs> can't be worried about how fast they sign off on it. That ain't none of your concern, baby. Your concern is, am I being fair and just in the business proposal that I have submitted to them? Right. That's all you got to be concerned about. I don't care if they barely looked at it and signed it. Don't you waste your sales, your brain cells wondering like, oh, well, dang, was it too low? Because they signed too fast. You can't worry about that. You got to make sure at the end of the day you feel good on about part. on your part. Yeah. Because you only going to answer for yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, and I do believe in karma. I do believe what goes around comes around. You reap what you sow. All of situation. that. Thank in every situation. So, with that being said, you do business in a way that you want business to be returned to you. <laughs> While I'm pouring into y'all. Yeah. <laughs> huh. You can't charge for this live. Well, they buying badges, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they yeah, I'm giving them some guy. They buying badges though. I mean, I don't know how much they are because it don't tell me. But I know when I log off how much I made in badges though. But no, I'm just being honest. That is how, like for real, y'all. That's how I've always been. Um, even like I said, all the years I was in construction, I made sure that my amounts I submitted, I was gonna feel good at the end of the day, and my client was gonna feel good at the end of the day. I'll never want to be in a place where it's like I'm getting over on people. I believe that you reap what you sow. So I'm not going to try to get over on people. I'm not trying to do people wrong. Y'all know I always post um, clean hands, pure heart. Clean hands, pure heart. Because I believe if that's what you give, that's what you're going to get back. So, um, and again, anybody who's just not coming on. It started out about the show, but this conversation is not just about the show. I'm talking about, I'm trying to pour into y'all for life in general. Don't be afraid to talk about money. We are so afraid as a community to talk about money. Yeah. But when you go sit in some of these rooms with people of different nationalities, baby, they ain't afraid to talk about money. Mm -mm. They're not afraid to ask you what no budget is. They're not afraid to ask you what's your marketing budget. Yeah. They want to know what you got to spend. Like, real talk. Like, for real, they going to ask, honey, and they may ask you for a spreadsheet and a report. <laughs> so, I'm just saying, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask the questions <laughs> that may seem, um, you know. And also, I think another thing. Now, look now, now, look okay, now. Listen, baby girl, now, you done had two questions now. I got one more. Now, look now. Let me get one more. Baby girl, you done had two questions now. Now, look now. All right, go ahead. All right. What? You done made me forget. <laughs> now, look now, now. You know now when I get I, tired. I just remember. I just remember. What? <laughs> <laughs> what, Justice? I think, I think what matters, too, is, like, who you're going after. You know what I'm saying? Cause mm -hmm. like in the beginning, for me, it was folks wanting flyers for twenty dollars. It was on a what? Flyers, flyers for twenty dollars. Right. Okay. So and okay. then like I just I went to like a different, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like bracket of people, and it was just different. They had like a different budget. So okay. Like and every customer ain't meant to be your customer. Yeah. And every client ain't meant to be your client. And that's okay, too. That's okay. Like, I think once we... Somebody wrote in here and said they literally just asked their mom for the first time ever what her salary was about her salary. Oh. And they good and grown. See what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like we don't want to have money conversations in our community. We don't be wanting to talk about money. They said Justice got great questions, man. Listen. They're trying to shut me up. <laughs> <laughs> man, you better sit on that and eat that steak out and leave me alone, girl. <laughs> Now, you had two questions that you could ask now. 
Um, no, but for real, um, you know, there's somebody for everybody. There's somebody who can, you know, will make the twenty dollar flyers, right? And right. and, and yeah, and it's and that's okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that ain't knocking the people who will do the twenty dollar flyers. Mm-hmm. Like everybody has levels. It's levels to everything. It's levels to everything. That's so true. And so, um, you know, yeah. The show ain't airing, child. We don't watch the show. You better go find it. Um, <laughs> yeah, tell, tell she has you all night. We have more minutes up here. <laughs> I mean, I do pretty much got all night. <laughs> yeah, Justice, listen, she'll be asking me some questions when I get off this live. They said, thank you, Justice, for asking great questions. Of course. Show your female. Show yours first. Um, what? <laughs> Girl, you know I'm not. I, you know I ain't child. But they say show your feet. I say show yours first. Um, <laughs> what's on? What's what? It's not on Lifetime. No, it's not on Lifetime because we're not on Lifetime. We don't own. Uh, don't charge her mail. Um. <laughs> um. Okay. So anyway, so y'all done, right? So listen. Listen, all oh, first time catching me live. Welcome, baby, to our world. We have fun over here. We laugh. We tell the truth. <laughs> we speak facts, and we have a good time, okay? That's what we do. Now, I'm about to get ready to go because y'all know I'll be having stuff to do, honey. But listen, this is what I'm going to say. <laughs> but this is what I'm going to say real quick. Like, um, y'all know Sugar Mama's uh, stuff is 25% off. I'm running a 25% off sale this weekend using code LEGACY. So if you have not had a chance to buy something for your grandchildren, and it is gender neutral, okay, it's for boys and girls. So if you haven't bought something for your grandchildren, your nieces, your nephews, your sister who just had a baby, honey, or maybe you just had a baby, head over there and get this amazing product. We already have so many great reviews that have been coming back for this product. Um, it is helping with dry skin and eczema too. Um, and y'all know I have a black chemist, black female chemist. She had a baby, about to have another baby. Um, and so this stuff works. I promise it works. Y'all know I, ain't, I don't private label stuff and just throw a label on anything. Y'all know my stuff is legit. So 7thAvenueBeauty.net, go to Sugar Mama. Everything there is 25% off. So go ahead and buy something. Um, we say between newborns and eight years old. So make sure y'all go over and buy it. Um... So, um, sending love. Have a great evening. Oh, thank you, RSVP with Lori. No, the bundle should not be saying sold out. Honey, unless they don't want to. No, it should be saying sold out. The baby yeah, the baby bundle should not be saying sold out. So um, you your products are wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, where to purchase is in my bio. So, if you go to my Instagram page and go to my bio, you'll see the link. But it's 7thAvenueBeauty.net, 25% off using the code LEGACY. And y'all know I have been all about legacy. Like, I had to speak in um, Illinois. And the main point of my speech was legacy. And literally, before I even had that speaking engagement, I ordered some shirts for my kids with legacy on the front of them. Didn't see then how legacy was literally becoming like this thing for me like the main focus um but i'm like oh man i'm gonna get these shirts got the shirts no seventh like s-e-v-e-n-t-h you got to spell it out seventh avenue beauty.net and so um then i got ready to go speech at, speak at this gala and I already knew I was going to speak on legacy, but before I got up there, people were saying, talking like the people before me were talking about legacy. And it was like confirmation. It was so much confirmation before I took the stage, right? And so everything I keep feeling in my spirit has been on legacy. So the code is legacy, 25% off. Um, and y'all know I'm being on us manifesting. I'm being on us sowing seeds. Y'all know that. Um, last week, we blessed a millimeter with $1,250. Um, and everybody who sold a seed, I pray that everything comes back to you tenfold. Um, she was so, so thankful in tears. Um, and I'm glad that I felt it in my spirit and I opened the door because I told y'all I could, I do it myself. Absolutely. But I believe in open the door for people to sow a seed. So I'm thankful that y'all did that. And y'all know I'm all about manifesting and I'm about us putting things into existence. So my codes usually have a meaning. <laughs> so the code is legacy. 
Okay, somebody put it here. Seventh Avenue Beauty .net. Let me try to pin it. Boom. Um, Seventh Avenue Beauty .net. Go get your bait. Now it ain't all the products. It's just the Sugar Mama products, and that's on purpose. Okay, um, on purpose. Cause you know I like to be on purpose. On purpose. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So y'all head over there and shop up. Like I said, for your grandkids, nieces, nephews, you know your own kids. Um, your exfoliating scrub and body butter is amazing. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Only God can manifest something, not people. That's up to your own, baby. You believe however you want to believe. I'm not I'm not that person. <laughs> I'm not that person. So I will never go back and forth with anybody about their beliefs ever. Um tonight's new episode was mislabeled. Oh, I hate that there, you know, things happen. You know, things happen. So as long as you found it. <laughs> That's all that matters. As long as you found it. As long as you found it. Um, my daughter loves your products. Thank you. Okay. So, um, what are y'all saying on here? It aired already. Yes, it did. Um, all right. Well, I love y'all. Good night. Y'all make sure y'all go get your product. 7th Avenue Beauty .net, code is legacy only on the sugar mama products twitter was so much fun i gotta go over there and see what people are talking about now um but i love you guys so much and i'll talk to y'all next time good night everybody just tell them good night because you, yeah. you was on here bye y'all <laughs> so what y'all think about what mel had to say your worth pay you that make people pay what you worth Period. People want to talk about you like a dog. They don't appreciate when you giving them things and handouts and stuff like that. So when you turn into dark hearts and dark souls and, and devils and sheep clothing and all of these type of things. No more favors are given. Okay. All right. No more favors are given. How did y'all like the watch party? Those of you that joined, thank you everybody that's been joining Patreon. How did y'all like the watch party tonight? I thought it was pretty cool. We had a good little time. We watched the video, talked crap in between commercials, and, you know, did a little quick little chit-chat at the end. Wrapped it up because Mel went live. He probably would have been on there running out of mouth for a long time. But I ain't got that much time because I'm out of here at, ooh, in a couple more hours, okay? So I'm going out of town, y'all. I'm working on some things, okay? Your girl is working on some things, okay? So um, I, I just, I just want to thank... Um, my tater tots, my people in my YouTube universe that, you know, have supported my channel and watch me and think I am so great and things like that. I think I'm pretty cool. You know, I know I'm just a goofball. What you see is what you get. This is me in real life. Okay. I'm just ignorant. Okay. Um, I get serious sometimes. Like I don't, I, I'm, I'm, it's either or with me. And that goes like when people like like me and stuff like that. Either they like me or they hate me. It, it's like, like like either they love or hate me. Like it's not like mm, she cool. It's I love her or or it's I cannot stand her. Okay, and that's okay. <laughs> I don't give a damn <laughs> who don't like me. <laughs> I like me. I love me. Y'all do too, so we don't care about no other haters or whatnot. They might not just be hating, they might just can't stand my ass, okay? <laughs> That's another thing y'all need to realize. Quit thinking because somebody um don't like you that they hating on you. They might just not like you. <laughs> anyway, let them indulge in their own self, okay? But y'all, I did want to bring up to y'all too about the... um. When we was on Mims' channel the other night, if you guys don't know who Mims is, his name on YouTube is Make It Make Sense. Make It Make Sense. Yes, and that's Mims, okay? Um, I be getting him confused sometimes with the cooking guy, Mr. Make It Happen. Um... So, yeah, go over there and check out this video from the other night. Your girl was on there. Shay Renee was on there dropping gems. Here for the hot tea was on there cutting a damn fool inciting violence.
Okay, the girl was cutting up on the channel. Like, um, the Melometer showed up on that channel and showed out the other night. Brown skin was live. They had to get cut. They swarmed on over there. Now, y'all, they might be right what they say about us. I'm telling y'all right damn now. Okay? Some of y'all get a grip. <laughs> it's cutting up over there. But what it looks like is that, um... His documents, you know, were authentic. Those were documents. But I think those were documents from like when they had the first um, judge and stuff like that. And <clears throat> like I said, I want to give y'all some insight on the verbiage that was used as a, as, um, at it, as it pertains to the, um, the part about the judge um, giving Martell positive accolades and things like that, praising him or whatever for making positive strides, okay, um, as it, it comes to the co-parenting situation and things of the court of that nature, okay? Like Mel say, we are critical thinkers. And this is what we have to think about. Because the judge did. It's been confirmed. From a source, very credible source, that um, the judge did give him um, positive or praise, so you know about you know making strides, and it was because he got strides, you know, accolades for making positive strides because he was the one that was ordered to make all the damn changes. Okay, that he finally did. All right. He was the one that was ordered to make all the changes. The judge ain't have to praise her for shit because she already, she, she did what she was supposed to do. She ain't did or judge ain't have to order her to do nothing. Okay. So they have to praise her for it because all of her stuff really was proactive. He was ordered to do the, the therapy. He was ordered to take parents in classes. Upon completion, the judge acknowledged that he, you know, had made strides um, in the right direction, um, which I would, you know, they were, even though there's something that he's supposed to have been doing, doing, I don't, you know what, I'm not going to give him no positive um, accolades or anything because, you know, those, those are things that he should have been proactively doing as well. I, I don't like giving people praise for shit that they're supposed to do any damn way. Like people give him praise for wanting to be in his damn kid's life. You supposed to. You had the damn kids. They your damn kids. So y'all just leave Mims alone. Like I said, I think Mims is a pretty cool guy. He is very good. Like Mims is a genuine guy. Um, he is authentic. He is not a chauvinist or anything like that. He is very much so um, in favor of black women, especially black single mothers. Um, he's not disrespectful at all. Like some of, you know, guys that we know on this platform of YouTube, he's not disrespectful to women at all. So, um, please don't, you know, think that he would meant any harm or anything like that. He was just really, and like, if you guys sometimes quit jumping to conclusions as well, actually watch the videos, you know, and see what they say. Because if you watch the video, he clearly says that this is some bullshit. Okay. Like he couldn't believe what the judge was saying. Um, and he was very much so on Mel's um, side or whatever with the case. And he just couldn't believe that the judge was giving him positive accolades. But like I said, we all need to open our, um, expand our horizons and look at it in that case. Like why the judge was giving him accolades because he had made strides because he was the one that was ordered to do stuff. She was not. Okay, and we all know that she was already very much so proactive with her um, parenting, um, with her parenting um, things, uh, you know, with therapy and stuff like that. So let me also read you guys another little insert um, 
from the claws. I did it on Patreon and I'll go ahead and release it tonight for you guys. Um, and again, these things, um, they're authentic. <clears throat> And this, again, is a parenting clause from um, the courts, okay? Um, both parties, because this is a part about the part when they were saying about the phone numbers and stuff like that. We was talking, we had, it was a deep conversation on Mims' channel. And Mims is considering, like, joining us maybe one day with the Gossip Girl panel. So we can just have a clear conversation and stuff like that. Um, because I think that his panel was epic. Like, it was a nice panel because it was a mix uh, melometers and people that, you know, may watch the show here and there, but not too, you know, like not too in much in there like we are. Um, so it was a nice mix of conversation. So, um, it was, you know, objective. It, it was, it was a nice debate. Um, it took a turn a couple times, but it was, he was able to get it back on track and, you know, for the most part, we all held our own, okay? But let's go through here. So, parents and clauses, um, part A. Both parties shall have reasonable telephone access to the minor ch child children while they are in the physical control of the other parent. Reasonable telephone access, okay? The minor child's children shall also have reasonable telephone access to both parties during a one-hour time period as agreed upon the parties taking into consideration the children, the children's schedule. I just spit out my mouth, sorry. All right. If a conflict develops regarding phone time, it shall be nightly between 7 p.m., and 8 p.m. So the parties have agreed that when the children are with the other respective parent, they can have reasonable access to the kids. Reasonable access in the excess of their demon reasonable as one hour. If like the kids are busy or they're out of town doing something or they on they doing something busy, whatever, whatever, then the time that they can call the other parent is 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. between 7 and 8 p.m. To talk. If they don't talk through the day or whatever, they can call them at the 7 to 8 p.m. time frame. Okay? At all times hereafter, each parent shall keep the other informed of respective business, cellular, and home telephone numbers and their respective street addresses mailing addresses and electronic mail addresses unless leave of the court is granted. So they have to provide the other parent with a home address, a email address, a business address, um, phone number, and a cellular home no um, phone number and a home phone number if they have that. Okay. Both parties will make themselves available for direct communication with the other for the purposes of discussions pertaining to pertaining to the minor child children okay they must make themselves available for direct communication with the other for purposes of discussions pertaining pertaining to the minor children only okay Provided, however, there is a, a provided, however, neither parent will harass or burden the other parent with excessive or abusive telephone calls or any other such non-productive communication. So the communication 
It's supposed to be direct. Direct communication could be a text message, a telephone call, an email. Those are things that's direct. A home phone call, whatever the case may be. A phone call, text message, email. Those are things that's direct. What's indirect is mailing them something. Like a 10 dozen of roses. Got it? Did y'all hear? However, neither parent will harass or burden the other with excessive or abusive telephone calls or any other such non-productive communication. Non-productive communication is talking about anything beside them damn kids. Okay? Because that ain't productive for co-parenting. So please don't send me 10 dozen roses. Please don't call my phone over and over again about a damn prayer. For us to get back together. Okay? So that was a little parenting clause A and B that I um, discussed with you guys. So... Like, what do y'all think about what we just like kind of went over a little bit and a further explanation about things, critical thinking, thinking about why the judge did that, whatever the case may be, of course. And of course, like those other things that we was hearing, like the request that he made. I'm trying to think that I take screen. Maybe I didn't. <clears throat> I thought I did. I do. I, don't. I thought I did, y'all. What the hell that happened to him? But anyway, um, yeah, the the stuff was just ridiculous, and um, and again, just because we find some things hard to believe, don't mean that it's not true. Like, you know, I know it's hard for a lot of us to believe that the judge would give Martel any kind of positive accolades, the, considering the way that uh, we're just going to move on. But, yeah, it, it is it is true. And um, it, even with the, the request that he was making, like, yeah, that was part of the documents. And that stuff is hard to believe because it's so preposterous that anybody, a lawyer, would even submit this shit. Okay? But it was true. It's true. It's true. Those were his requests. It don't mean that he was granted them, but, and I'm quite sure, I hope that the judge see that he's lost his damn mind. Hence why he was ordered to have a mental eval. But in our opinion, allegedly, but... Ooh, baby. Hmm. Y'all, we got some things to work on because that, did y'all see that stuff? Username and passwords of all social media sites. What the fuck you want that for? Addresses and phone numbers and all that. Social security numbers for every person that's going to be around the kids when they're in the other parent care. In, the par in that parent care. Not in both of them. He ain't want to disclose his people's stuff. Just hers. A damn fool. What you need to know all that for? And I will see if you were saying like both of y'all can disclose all of this stuff. But you're not doing that. You just want her stuff. Boy, get the hell out of here. All bank accounts and all this type of stuff. And ain't no child support order. Get out of here. Your broke ass. 
trying to get some of Sugar Mama stuff from. That's, I'm so happy, Mel. Put that under her Seventh Avenue umbrella. He knows she's smart. Like I said, he underestimate how smart that girl is because he she's not under his wing anymore. She don't love him no more. So he think that she still love him and that she's gonna. Like, you didn't put in no time. You didn't even think about it. You didn't even wish the girl a happy damn birthday. But you want some proceeds from a line that got her name on it that you won't even call her? Y'all call her that. Yeah, and we supporting her products too. And we ain't supporting nothing of yours. Oh, Ewok looking ass. Anyway, let's move on. To greater things, I will see y'all maybe um, tomorrow, depending on what my schedule is looking like. Like I said, I'm on an early flight tonight. Um, early in the morning, I mean. Ooh, child, I thought my elbow was ass. Y'all about to say, good Lord, I'm talking about Marcel feet on that episode. Did y'all see his feet? And I don't like no man not wearing no socks or walking around with no socks on. Put some socks on. Man up. <laughs> anyway y'all what y'all think about this stuff um would y'all be interested in seeing another little collab with um us the gossip girls maybe and mims and maybe somebody he might want to invite or something like that um let us know let me know let me know put it in the comments um yeah and and y'all we didn't go unnoticed people noticed like y'all showed up and showed out over there okay <laughs> Cutting the food. We had to let it be known. All right? So, yeah, we was in there windmilling. All y'all was in there. I seen y'all in there. Y'all a mess. Y'all even had cookie in the mix. <laughs> Giving super chats with cookie on there. Mills like, I guess this is an inside joke or something. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, that's all I got for y'all. I ain't got no more. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Um, and that's all I got for y'all. Bye. Oh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And oh, and congratulations to Brown Scan for making 10K today. Um, during her live earlier, the pre-show. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for the support. And make sure y'all subscribe to all of our channels on and um hey girl, hey, make sure y'all get to drop the mic. And, um, of course, brown skin girl and me, you know, and our other people, we, that's too many to name. I ain't about to go through it. Okay. Let's get to it. All right. Bye.